Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I'm gonna start doing a small little series called Revisited. And what I'm gonna do is go back and show you stuff that I did a video on before, but I didn't show you stuff. I just described it. Like a bad little monkey, I told, I didn't show. So now I'm gonna show you as I'm telling you. And today's first video, boys and girls, is going to be on the Anton Bauer battery kit for pretty much any Sony camera that takes the, uh, what, the big Z100 battery, Z battery. And I'm gonna show you everything about this now. So here we have my a7 IV. I got the 16 to 35 G Master on it. I have a small rig cage. I'll move in here a little bit and you can see the cameras in there. So what I did was I screwed on the quick release plate for the kit that goes, you know, whatever. I mean, it just has a standard screw on there kind of hard to see with the, with the light, but there's just a standard screw. Find a hole and screw it in there, okay? Giggity. Pretty simple, all right? Now, on the Anton Bauer kit, it has the cutout there for the little quick release plate to go into, and then it has this little quick release on the back that you can put it through. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple things that I did. One, I got the DC coupler for NP-FZ100, or FZ100 if you're not from the United States, where you just feel like saying Z. And basically it's just a dummy battery. And at the end, the D-tap fitting on this Anton Bauer battery, as you can see in the front, you've got you've got your choice. One, two, three of those mount mounting points. And then you also have just a normal USB-A mount there. So that if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use one of these, you could just use, you know, plug the USB-C cable into your Sony camera and then put the other side right in there. Now this also gives you the option of powering something else via USB as well as three of those DTAP mounts. Now the other thing that I've done, I'll show you real quick here, is that I got one of these long ARCA plates. I think this is a maybe an 80 millimeter or possibly 120. I'll put it in the description down below. And I wanted this long plate because when you put this stuff down, I wanted it to be able to sit flat. And, and hold the weight. So I got one that extended out past the battery so that when you put the camera on, it holds it and keeps it from tipping over. Here's what you do. Now, because I've got this small rig cage, it's got this extra piece of metal that's like a door and you have to push that open in order to get the battery compartment to open all the way. Now this is good because this is gonna give you a channel to run the cable through. So then all you gotta do is take your battery, maybe put it in, Okay, you heard it, it clicked in, now it's in place. And then just hold this cable in that channel right there. And you can kind of close it if you want to, but basically it gives you the channel right there through there for that cable to hold. Then you just sort of pull, pull the cable through like that and hold it in place. Now you think to yourself, okay, how the hell is that gonna go on there and stay there when the battery door is open? Well, there's enough clearance on this thing so that it works. So. Make sure you have your small triangle, well, I guess this is a trapezoid. Uh, you have the smaller part facing forward towards the lens because that's the part that goes forward and that's how you want it in there. And literally you just slide it in and slip it forward and now it's in there. Now you can see that the battery door is still open. It's, you can kind of see it through there if, you, if I put it up against my melon and you can see that it's hanging down there and that there is a gap in between the battery, the Anton Bauer battery, and the rest of this contraption. So that gives you the ability to put that in there and have the door open. That way you don't have to take the door off and lose the damn battery compartment door. Now you can put this wherever you want, but I put it on this side, the way this sits, and you know, because you can only put it in one way. Now when you put it through, the cable is pointing up rather than down. Now that is, has been a problem for some people because they were putting it in there and, and it was basically pointing down, which then made it awkward because you couldn't set it down because the cable was pointed down. I mean, you can see that it still goes down, but you can then route this. And because I had that Arca plate on there, I mean, it's gonna be kind of a tight fit, but it'll still do it. But I still like it on this side because I'm able to tuck the cable back into the cage here so now it just runs along the, the edge and underneath and you're good to go. And that's it. 
and now you can you can hold this thing the cable doesn't get in the way if you want you can put your finger on there and kind of hold it so it doesn't pop out but either way it's in there and now just to prove to you ta-da now this is being powered by this anton bauer battery and right now if you can see like it shows that there's an hour and 18 minutes worth of time left on it. So before I actually plugged the battery in and started doing it, it showed me that there was like 22% battery life on this because I haven't been using it. So it's been sitting in my hum humidity controlled cabinet and just draining as time goes by. That's really all I wanted to show you today. Again, I'm revisiting old shit that I forgot to show you stuff and I just told you about it, but now you can see. Now we have this Anton Bauer battery kit so that you can power your Sony cameras or whichever cameras because you can get different DTAP dummy batteries for whatever you're doing. You know, make sure you're paying attention to what the hell you're getting. Now, because this has that nice shape, I'll just set it down here. And there you go. It's on a flat surface, it's holding, it's not tipping forward, it's not tipping to the side. Uh, now it's slippery as shit here on the back of my, uh, you know, my MacBook. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start like flipping it around, but you can see that I'm not holding the camera and it stays upright. It's gonna do what you need it to do. And it's also gonna give you a shit ton of battery life. Yes, it's heavier, but that's okay because what are you gonna do? Bring 40 batteries with you? If you wanna film with this damn thing all day and then some, I mean, you can probably charge this up and it'll probably last you a good two days, three days, depending on how much you shoot. Now, you know me, I always tell you, I shoot hours worth of footage and I end up cutting it all down to five or 10 minutes. This actually ain't that bad. So here's my carbon fiber tripod. There you go. Now you've got it on a tripod and you can balance it either way. Um, either way you need to and it'll stay on there. But I can tell you, if you're trying to hold this thing out in front of you and walk and vlog with it like I do, it, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you're gonna have to be wicked ass strong. You're gonna have to have a very wide angle lens so that you can rest your elbow into your gut and kind of hold it up. But either way, this thing gets really heavy and, and it's just, it's not meant for vlogging. But if you wanna film all day with this thing and you're holding it and you put a handle on this side or a handle on the other side or whatever the hell you do, a top handle, it's gonna last you. Money well spent, monkey approved. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.